Hello everyone! I think you all know about the most famous catastrophe in the history of our planet. Yes, Tony, I'm talking about the huge asteroid that hit the Earth and wiped out the giant dinosaurs that reigned at the time. But what if it had missed our planet? Would we be living side by side with dinosaurs now? Would our homes be inhabited not by cats and dogs, but by cute, little, domesticated dinosaurs? Would shepherds herd not cows but giant triceratops? Would the mounted police be called dino police? Or maybe humans would have not appeared if dinosaurs were still on Earth? Or would there have been a completely different race of intelligent dinos with arms and legs like ours? We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's go! So, dinosaurs lived on our planet for about 160 million years. In the process, they evolved and changed. Predators hunted herbivores, and herbivores ate ferns, the most common plant on the planet at that time. But then, 65 million years ago, the first flowering plants began to appear. Scientists believe that by the Eocene period, 55 million years ago, they would have taken over almost all ecological niches, displacing Jurassic ferns and changing the diet of all giant herbivores. However, flowering plants are digested much faster than ferns and contain more nutrients. This would have accelerated the growth of dinosaurs, but would have reduced their size, so giant dinos would have been replaced by smaller versions. And what about humans? Would we have become a race of intelligent reptiles? Most scientists agree that this is very unlikely, because dinosaur brains are too weak. And it's not because of their size. It turns out that humans became intelligent thanks to the large number of neural connections in the mammalian brain. As you see, size doesn't matter. What you need to be more intelligent is a fast brain. As with modern technology, right? Devices get smaller and smarter at the same time. Hmm. So, does that mean that intelligent humans wouldn't have appeared? And neither would Tony? Not exactly. The first mammals appeared over 200 million years ago and lived in the dinosaur world for a very long time. But there were only a few of them back then, and they were small rodents a little bigger than a modern cat. In a dangerous world full of giant dinosaurs, these mammals had to survive somehow, so they led a nocturnal lifestyle and hid in trees or underground and they fed on plants and insects. But 65 million years ago, the power balance shifted. Most huge and predatory dinosaurs became extinct, and mammals took control. They began to emerge from their hiding places and evolve, giving origin to almost all animals that now live on our planet. So, if dinosaurs had remained, mammals would have stayed in the shadows. However, the boldest paleontologists believe that they would have continued to change and evolve, giving rise to many species of rodents, bats, and even small primates. And these primates could have become the first humans. Only they would have to fight dinosaurs instead of saber-toothed cats. Nevertheless, the world would not be a bloody mess like in the movie Jurassic Park. Of course, dinosaurs are predators, but they are lazy and like to chill in the sun after a hearty lunch. We would have learned to avoid them just as we learned to deal with saber-toothed tigers, wolves, and bears. But all of this would have happened much later than it actually did. In the dinosaur world, it would have taken much longer for mammals to evolve from a rodent to an ape and from an ape to a human. After all, it would have not been so easy to get down from a tree and go plant yams in a field with T-Rexes and other big, toothy lizards wandering around somewhere. So, in an alternate universe, where a giant asteroid didn't hit Earth 65 million years ago, humans most likely already exist, but are still at the very beginning of their evolution. They probably hide in caves from dangerous T-Rexes and hunt Diplodocus, which are probably a little larger than a modern elephant. And in another few million years, some species of dinosaurs may well have been domesticated. Some could be used as livestock and some as loyal friends and companions. A few thousand years later, the internet and YouTube would have appeared and an alternate Super Tony would tell his alternate viewers about what would happen if a giant asteroid did hit the Earth and wiped out all the dinosaurs. And he would end the video with some touching phrase about how we need to protect all creatures great and small and that velociraptors are man's best friend. Friends, 
Tell us in the comments what dinosaurs you would have as a pet if you had the opportunity and why. The most interesting comments will appear in our next video. And of course, like, subscribe, and don't miss the new Super Tony videos. Bye-bye!